Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jacob here with another daily vlog. Been a little bit of a crazy week, crazy few days actually. The new book is coming out tomorrow, I believe, February 26th on Wednesday. And yesterday I shared some of the research from the new book. I put up an article where I talked about the key skills and mindsets that future leaders need to have. And I shared some of the insights from the 140 CEOs I interviewed. And the article went completely, completely crazy. Uh, I guess went viral if you want to call it that got shared hundreds of times many many thousands of views so it's been very very exciting over the past few days to see so much attention being drawn to to the research and to the work and you know skyrocketed the the rankings of the book which is of course amazing and one of the things that I've been thinking about so a lot of people don't don't realize this for authors but for authors to get on a bestseller list basically what has to happen is you sell a lot of books within a certain period usually a one week period so in my case for example the book is coming out on the 26th so as many copies so basically I need to sell as many copies as I can this week through Thursday or Friday and if I sell enough copies I get on the bestseller list and this is something that a lot of authors chase because of course it's very cool to get onto the bestseller list right New York Times bestseller list Wall Street Journal you know there's so many lists out there everybody wants to get on these lists but the other thing that this really got me thinking about is the difference between the short-term gain versus the long-term gain. In other words, there are a lot of books, for example, where authors pay a lot of money, they put all their marketing efforts, all their resources into the one-week period to get a best-selling book. And then after that week is over, the book basically disappears. Uh, it doesn't really sell much anymore. A lot of people don't hear about it anymore. It just kind of pops really quick and then vanishes. And then there are other books, and this has been pretty consistent with mine, where you maybe don't make a New York Times bestseller list, but the book sells consistently over time. So one of the things that I even noticed with my previous book on employee experience is it's actually still selling just as well now, three years later, as it did in 2017, because employee experience is still a very hot topic. And the lesson that I learned here, and the, the lesson that I think is applicable just to us as individuals is, are you focusing on the short-term game or the long-term game? It's very easy for us, especially with social media, with all these different technologies and tools at our disposal, to be very focused on the short term. What's gonna happen now? What's gonna happen in one week, one month, even by the end of the year? But I think what's more important is to focus on the long-term game. For me, I've been building my personal brand for 12, 13 years now. It's very much been a long-term game. And you know, now, several years later, a lot of people see the the books or the speaking or the CEO endorsements but it's a long-term game this isn't something that was done in a week in a day even in a year this was done over 10 12 years so just for you personally I want to encourage you to think about the long-term game and it can be frustrating because um, sometimes it doesn't feel like there's progress sometimes it doesn't feel like there's change whether you're somebody trying to drive change in a company or whether you're somebody trying to see personal progress but if you shift your perspective and focus on the bigger, the longer time horizon, I think what you're gonna to start to see is that there is change. There is progress that's starting to happen. So don't focus so much on the short-term game because ultimately we're all supposed to be in the long-term game. That's where real success and growth comes from. From all the business leaders that I interviewed, all the CEOs I talked to, they are all focused on the short-term game. These are billionaires, change makers, industry makers. Again, everyone is focused on the long-term game. So that's really all I wanted to talk about today. And it was really making me think about that because the, you know, the bestseller list is very short-term, one week period, versus the, the scope of a book which can be over many, many years. So stop focusing on the short term and focus much more on the long term game. And that is ultimately when you will start to see success happen. Hope you're having a wonderful day wherever in the world you are. And don't forget, show a little bit of love, grab a copy of the book at getfutureleaderbook.com. I appreciate all the support and I'll talk to you soon.